Hi guys, we will make an oven burner from these tubes to make bread and delicious pizza at home. First, I'm marking the place of the first hole. It's at 10 centimeters or 4 inches. This distance for the gas and air to mix well to have a better efficiency. I am making it easier to myself to drill these holes using this system because I have 6 tubes to drill at 1.1 meters or 45 inches. If I have something like this, it will be better and I am sure if I search the internet, I will find a tool like it. I am drilling the first hole at 10 centimeters and using this wire to repeat the drilling at the same distance of 1.5 centimeters. The result won't be accurate but it is acceptable and if I try to drill with more accuracy it will take much more time and I will quit before finishing the first tube. I am drilling with 2.5 drill bit and to drill with more efficiency I need to drill at a maximum speed of my drill press 2850 rpm. Here I don't need cooling the reason for that is I am drilling for short time and stopping that allows the bit to cool down. When I tried to drill with a new drill bit, it was bending and I couldn't drill accurately. So I shorten it and sharpen it to have more success. I am marking these holes for the gas valves. The 9mm drill bit is the right one to use here. These big holes are to join the pipes together. I need to close the end of the pipes. This is my little helper. 
I need to fix the piece from two points to avoid this. I will do this 10 times. And if you have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. To weld this valve, I need to remove the inside part. I am using this solder with the steel for the first time, and I don't know if it will work or not. The soldering seems successful. You need to get the steel red hot for it to weld well.
use soap and water to verify all the connections. You see when I open the bottom row, the upper one dims. It takes all the oxygen from it. I hope it won't be a problem when I will finish the oven. I tried different orifices, the best for my use here is 2 mm with the natural CT gas. I found that this part obstructs the gas flow, so I removed it and I still could close the gas. Now I have too much flow, <laughs> so I solved it by doing this. Avoid this flame that it has a yellow color. This means there isn't enough air to burn the gas so it gave us carbon monoxide and black smoke that will cover the oven from the inside. The solution here is to allow more air to mix with the gas or to have less gas in the mix. I added this main valve to control the gas burners simultaneously and shut them easily. Here the bottom row working until I finish the oven. <laughs> 